Hey guys, Robert here with Coastal GX. I'm in Edinburgh with my buddy Joseph at Velocity Wraps. Why am I here? Well, because it's time for Sandy over here to get a nice custom hood wrap. We did the design, we put some thought to it, and we're like, ah, oh, you know what, this would be neat. Now, it's more than aesthetics. It wasn't just like, hey, you know, I want it to look pretty. You know, every single mod I have, there is some sort of purpose behind it. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be installing uh, a hood panel, okay, from Lens Sun Solar. They sent me this kit. So as you can see right here, this is the panel that's gonna be going on the hood. It's a 100 watt panel. They make it in different uh, powers, you know, for depends on the vehicle that you're gonna be applying it to. I mean, if you're on a Toyota or whatever you have, they pretty much have you covered. Jeeps, anything you might have, they have you covered. Now, this particular uh, panel, like I said, is going to be going on, and there he is, there's Joseph already doing the prep work. But this is going to be going on the hood right here. Prep work is extremely important. And I've seen some of his work, man. This, you, you worked on the McLaren last time? Oh, yeah, yeah. We've had a McLaren uh, 720S. Wow. Yeah. That we worked on, I did a couple of stripes. Into it as well. That's what that client is. That's it. So, you know, he's he's been doing how long have you been doing this, Joseph? I'll say already going in about nine years. Nine years? Yeah, it's been a while. I'll say like maybe 2010, 2011, somewhere around there is when I started it. Yeah, it's been a while. I'm really, really stoked about this. Uh, you know, he worked with me. He worked with me on the design. That's very important. When you're gonna choose a fabricator or someone that is into this, you know, that, that this is what their job is, what you wanna look for sometimes is somebody that's gonna be excited or just as excited as you are, okay? He's gonna contribute, he's gonna kinda of give you his opinions and uh, that is very important to me, okay? If I see that uh, the, the, you know, the, the installer, fabricator, whoever's providing the service, if they're just not into it or they're just they just want to move on to the next project you know that 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 doesn't bring a lot of confidence to me but over here with joseph you know we even talked about you know the color scheme so i wanted something to ac accent the the wheels it's the only bronze that i have on the entire vehicle so decided you know what let's do something adventurous and let's do a whole um bronze hood with some topography lines on it and then of course we're gonna have that uh, uh, hood uh, mounted solar panel on top of that Yeah, it's not going to even be your best friend or your worst enemy when doing it outside. Yeah. I mean, if you're taking off vinyl, oh, you want you want the sun to hit it as much as it can. That's when you want because, as much heat. Yeah, because it's a lot easier to take a vinyl off with the sun beating on it as opposed to putting it on. Explain to me how how right now things are kind of scarce. So if you get yourself uh, something like this, you you, you need to. <laughs> Probably be mindful of that too, right? It's difficult. Yeah, right now it's a little bit difficult. Um, it's been slowly getting better, but I know ever since the pandemic hit and then that ship getting stuck in one of the canals. Yeah. Uh, a lot of the product has been very, very scarce. Uh, I'll say what, maybe three years ago we were able to get 90% of the products that are on the list like constantly. You call anytime, you can get it right away. Nowadays, it's you call, see where it's at, and hopefully it's in stock. Uh, we've had a lot of 3M products. A lot of the popular colors have been out of stock for already going on a year or two. That's how bad it's been, it's been getting. I mean, is there any benefit for people who do overlanding, off-roading, in getting a vinyl wrap on their vehicle from, you know, if they go off-roading or out in the dust 
Is there any benefit to that? I mean, when it comes to their paint or protecting their vehicle, or is that a myth, or how does that work? Uh, as far as protection, vinyl wraps are, I would say, one of the least protecting um, options out there. Yes, it is going to give you a little bit of protection, but it's not going to be a lot compared to the actual paint protection film. That one will block rocks, that will block any, say, a branch, or you scuff something on the trail, and you got, say you have it on the panels, that paint protection film, you scuff a tree branch or something, it'll hit the film, possibly damage it or scratch the film, but the film's removable. You can take off that film, and that scratch or damage to the film that happened, I would say maybe eight to nine times out of ten won't pass through. And once you take it off, the paint will be perfect, like if there is no damage. And then you can just put the, a new version of the paint protection film and keep going on your way. But wraps, it's they are pretty thin. Um, they're a little bit thinner than paper, I would say. Yes, this is still paper, but actual writing paper, it's a little bit thinner as in the sense where you can see every little imperfection of dirt or something that's on the surface, you, it pretty much magnifies it. Even if you have a simple dent, like you can see the little divot here from the curvature of the hood, a small little insignificant dent from a rock or something that you may not notice on your paint, you'll, once you put a wrap, it'll, magnif it'll probably magnify it about two to three times to where now it's more visible than what it used to be before. Yeah, so. Wow, do you, do you uh, install some of those films? Yeah, we do have paint protection films. Uh, generally, the price of that, um, it does vary on vehicles, but the, comparing to a wrap and a, and a paint protection, price difference is probably about, I'll say maybe three to four times more than what a normal wrap would cost, mm -hmm. as far as the price goes. Because you do get a lot of benefits with that film. Oh, there you go, guys. You guys, if that's what you're looking for, don't you love it when you have people who are extremely honest, honest about, you know, what the benefit or the purpose of a wrap is or whatever. And Joseph was very, very honest there. But if you're looking for that protection, if that is what your goal is, you know, he can install that, but you're looking at a whole different thing. So don't think that, you know, installing a, a, a wrap is going to, be the end all of your issues if you're going to be off-roading and doing stuff like that that's a good point to know now i know a lot of people that like to watch my channel are they love diy stuff and they're pretty daring folks but watching this and all the effort i mean that it took to get it to this point honestly man it, it in your opinion and 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 nobody's gonna think that you're bragging but it just seems like this is not a project for the average guy to tackle i mean wraps they're not that bad i mean nowadays like when i learned about how to do this yeah uh, nowadays there's classes you can take them on you pay x amount of dollars they'll teach you and um you'll learn how to wrap. Uh, back then when it was, I wouldn't say it was barely starting, but it wasn't as popular back then, like in the 08, 09 era. Yeah. Um, uh, I just pretty much looked at YouTube. There are some videos of YouTube there, that and a lot of hands-on. Just buying, buying, starting off with cheap, cheap vinyl because you can get it a relatively cheap. It's it's not that expensive compared to high grade. Mm -hmm. High grade, you're gonna spend a good bit of money. Cheap grade, you can buy it on Amazon, eBay. That stuff you can play with and just learn off of that. And once you learn just the fundamentals, then you can start putting it on, then start brushing on it. Nowadays, YouTube has a lot. There's a lot of channels out there that actually teach you how to do it, certain things to do and not to do and you can also just learn off of that too and just put it to practice and it should be fine but yeah back then there wasn't that much youtube on it so you but think uh so you think like a vinyl like this is more like for aesthetic purposes yeah something like this with this design here or any design whether it be carbon fiber forged carbon something printed like this 
um, what else is there? Honeycomb, uh, camouflage, stuff like that. It's still a vinyl. It still gives you like a tiny amount of protection. Um, but most of it is for aesthetic purposes to make the car look different. As you can tell, this car here was mm -hmm. orange, the Challenger that we did, and mm -hmm. we're turning it all gray. We're already almost done with it, but yeah, it's pretty much aesthetic purposes. Nice. Yeah, it's whatever the customer wants. Tuck in. Yeah, you gotta tuck in the vinyl. Yeah, without tucking, you would just run it to the edge. Yeah, it'd be fine. You cut around the edge, whatever. But when you're one, you with it being cut right on the edge, uh -huh. there's a possibility that water can trickle in. Yeah. Or when you're washing it, since you cut it right on the edge, you still have an exposed edge. Mm -hmm. And when you run your towel or your sponge, that can induce lifting. Mm -hmm. And once that lifts. Uh, dirt will get under it, water will possibly get under it, depending on what's going on at the time. And once that happens, the wrap is already considered done at that point. So in order to fix dirt underneath the wrap or water, you gotta take it all off and put a whole new sheet on it again. Yeah, water you may be able to get away with it as far as letting it dry out and then hopefully that adhesive is still there. And once it's dried out, and then you can put it back down. But yeah. Yeah, you always want to tuck your vinyls. The, what the product is actually called, it's called uh, 3M Optically Clear Sealing Tape. Uh, it's not like regular scotch tape. This is a lot uh, more adhesive uh -huh. and this is waterproof. Tape. Okay. Uh, basically where we put this, uh, it's pretty much on most of the tucked in areas not on every tucked in area but just more so where the key joints are like at the corners here at the bottom there we can run it sometimes across the whole hood on the front end because uh, that's where most of the lift it has a possibility of happening there but most times it really doesn't so we just usually put it on the corners yes yeah, so you can pressure wash the vinyl um, but there is a specific way you have to do it mm. when you're pressure washing it you can't have the nozzle really close to it okay yeah because that type of pressure will rip the vinyl it will literally tear it um if you were to get it the nozzle let me show you if you were to get the nozzle say this is this is the nozzle right uh -huh. the whole gun if you get it like right here you're okay you'll be fine the pressure kind of starts misting out and you can just go but if you get it over here you're gonna cut in start cutting into the vinyl and basically tear it off yeah so you're being lazy and you're trying to remove a uh, bird shit from there yeah. with pressure don't get it real close yeah. it you'll, you'll get rid of more than bird crap okay yeah. okay yeah but yeah you can pressure washer just keep the nozzle at a safe distance recommended is about say about two to three feet away from the vinyl just so it can actually at that two to three feet there's not that much pressure coming out of the nozzle um, and you'll be fine Okay guys, so that's gonna do it for the project. As you can see, he already installed the solar panel on the hood, but that's gonna be a separate video. First, I wanted to tell you guys about, you know, the myths perhaps of some of the vinyl wrap things that you may or may not know. I wanted to take advantage of having Joseph here. It's not every day that I get to talk to someone with experience when, you know, installing vinyl wraps. And he's a straight shooter. That's what I really, really like about, you know, Velocity Wraps is that he's very honest. He's going to lay it out the way it is, okay? But he's here in Edinburgh. Joseph, how can they get a hold of you? Uh, we have our Instagram and that and the phone, my phone number. Uh, Instagram would just be under Velocity Wraps with the Z. And you can just message us there. And we usually reply pretty quick if 
we don't reply right away is because usually we're working on a vehicle but we will get back to you in a timely manner uh, nine five, uh, you can also call me or shoot me a text at 956-733-5658 and yeah you can just ask me any questions you want is if you want something like this if you have any crazy ideas uh, just message me with whatever you guys got and I'll be able to come up with something come up with some renderings and be able to give you pricing and availability and what we can get done for you yeah uh, you do other other things aside from vinyl wraps? Yeah, aside from vinyl wraps, uh, vinyl wraps is our main thing. Uh, but what we also do is we'll do the paint protection film. That's like a clear bra that goes like on the front portion. Sometimes the whole vehicle if you want something like that. But it's usually just the whole front end that protects you from your rock chips. Uh, but a lot of highway debris. Um, anything that pretty much will damage the paint. This film sits on top of the paint and protects all of that damage from happening. Uh, we do that. And we also do paint corrections and ceramic coating. Uh, paint corrections, what that, what that is, is if you have like swirl marks, they're like little spinning marks inside your paint, uh, we can get rid of all those marks away and apply a ceramic coating which seals the paint and it'll pretty much look like glass for the next couple of years, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that too. Well, I gotta say thank you so much, oh, Joseph. Yeah, exactly. You were great from the very beginning all the way to the end. Guys, really recommend Velocity Wraps. Go ahead and send them a message, or you want to send it to me, that's fine. I'll get a hold of them, and uh, he'll get back to you. All right, guys, take care. You too.